everyone. Uh, I've just popped out tonight. Uh, I saw this field, someone put it on Facebook, actually someone who was jogging, um, who I know. And they jogged past this amazing uh, poppy field. So I quickly said, where is that? And it's just a few miles from my home. So I've whipped out tonight, saw that the sky was looking amazing, which it is. Um, thought, right, this is the night. Uh, so I've come out, come to the location, took me a while to find it. It's hidden behind quite a hedge, but luckily she'd put a um, really good location. And I got here, it's now uh, 10 past nine, and tonight it, uh, it, the sun sets at 20 past nine. Um, so I'm really rushing this video. I've set up with the seven to 14 um, lens. I'm at F11. Uh, the red channel was a bit high because of all the poppies, so I've just knocked it down, knocked the uh, exposure compensation down. So I'm at exposure compensation minus 0.3. I'm at F11, uh, I'm at seven mil. I've got two filters on, two soft edge neutral graduated filters, um, neutral density graduated filters. Um, one's a 0.9, one's a 0.6, so I'm stacking them quite heavily because it's quite dark on the land, but there was quite a lot of light in the sky. One thing I did was spend, I got set up to kind of get my banker in, and then when I'd done that, I, just moved around to try and find the best poppies so i found a fairly good spot to begin with and then i moved around i wanted a poppy that was facing at me and one thing i've discovered today is poppies are pretty floppy flowers and uh, they don't generally sort of sit facing to you i've got a couple here that are pretty good i've placed this one here on the thirds line which is just there so on this intersection as close as i can i've done that I wanted to do this, I've got the EM5 Mark II here, which I've only had for about a week. I wanted to do this in high res mode. I did a great shot the other day of a windmill in high res mode that uh, I've got to share soon with a rainbow. Um, there was a rainbow here trying to get out earlier, but it was just a line. Uh, I'm just gonna turn around. So I've got, I'm on the Benro tripod here, and I'm just gonna undo this locking nut and just swing it round. Oh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Let's have a look at this. So we're just going to get a banker now while the sky's good. We'll just lock that again. We'll keep the focus the same. That's incredible. But what we're going to do now is just angle it up a little bit. I really like that. Looks pretty nice. Okay, so I've angled that up a bit. I should have done this earlier. We're just going to rattle a couple off here. I love this tree. We've just not quite got it in still. And there we go. And the sky almost looks like it's coming out of the tree and it's so red. It's really looking nice. I just, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, uh, that's really nice. So there we go. So um, I don't think there'll be an awful lot of editing on these. This is, the colors are great. It's amazing, but you know, I'll go back and I'll do some editing. Um, I'll keep shooting until the sun's gone down. I will shoot after sunset. Um, and uh, let's see how that goes. There's a lovely little fluffy cloud just above that tree now. This is beautiful. Okay, so I'm back and I've got a couple of images that I really like. Um, first one is this one with the tree where I turned around and uh, uh, you know, with a little bit of red sky above the tree. I really like that. However, that isn't actually the one I'm gonna go for. The other one I really like is this one, and this is my favorite of the two and the one I want to edit. So I think this is gonna be a really, really simple edit. Um, so let's dive straight in and see where we go. First thing is to jump into the develop module in Lightroom and just go to basic and I'm going to just grab the contrast and bring the contrast up to make it pop a bit. Go quite, oh, let's use two hands. Should really use a mouse, but probably. I've got a bit of a problem with my trackpad on my MacBook at the moment, so 
it seems to be playing up a little bit on the left click but hey ho we'll persevere now i want to bring the highlights down in the sky uh, the the histogram doesn't show them as blown out but i like to bring highlights down and it gives a bit more detail in the cloud there's lots of schools of thought on this and one school of thought is to that is to not bring those highlights down because it kind of dulls the image uh, i like to give it a go and see uh, the other way to do it is to actually bring down the sky use a graduate filter and bring down the sky um, i'm just going to pull the highlights down on this and Okay, so you can see what that did. That gives us a lot of the sky back. And I've pulled that down to minus 100. Okay, so the next thing is to just play with the shadows. And this is the, if anybody's watched any of my other videos, this is what I tend to do. I tend to go through this same routine of just working down these sliders and just playing with them um, to see what I get. So don't need to do a huge amount with the shadows that's just brought a little bit out um, may come back to that may not uh, the next one I always push before I do anything else is the vibrance and you have to be careful with this but we'll just pop the vibrance up a little bit now that's looking pretty good what I want to do is uh, just play with the sky I think the um, the uh, the highlights didn't quite bring it down enough. I think we'll probably need to bring down the highlights a bit more um, and probably bring the exposure down a little bit. But how can we do that? The other thing is I might push the saturation up a little bit. So how can we do that? Well, let's get the graduated filter and target now just the sky. So we just do that. Now, it doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit onto the land because it it, it's going to be graduated so what I want to do here is just pull the exposure down a little bit to really make it quite angry sky we want to get the red I want it to be delightful sky with the red and so on but I do like my angry clouds and, 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 and a bit of drama rather than anger drama I like to, I, I think is, is a better way um, so the next thing to do is, is just pull down the highlights again and see if that gives us more doesn't do a lot but it just definitely gives us a bit more so I'm just going to pull the highlights down a bit now I mentioned about doing the saturation on here just to bring out this red and let's not go too mad okay so that brings out the red on there um, can we do anything on the land uh, I'm not convinced we can apart from the only thing I think is, is it sharp enough? So let's have a little look at the sharpness of this image. And it's not bad, but it's not great. So we've got a couple of ways we can do it. We can either target the land directly using a graduated filter again, or we can just do the overall sharpness and then use the masking. So let's do it that way. Oopsie daisy let's go into here and let's just zoom in on there and let's it's already set it sharpened into 25 but i'm going to just we we'll probably need a better point to have a look at maybe that's okay i don't want to over sharpen it This looks okay. Let's have a look at this. Just this bit here. Is it worth? Just sharpen it a tad. Let's go about there. And then we'll just come out here. And if we can tr click Alt and then do the masking. And I've said before in other videos, but in case you don't know, anything that's black is not being sharpened. Okay? Anything that's white, the edges are being sharpened. So we just pull this down, pull this all the way. The masking, let's go. 100% 98 whatever there we go we just sharpen the stuff we want to sharpen um, <clears throat> I'm not totally happy with the colors at the moment um, so we're going to go and have a little play with uh, HSL the HSL adjustment um, 
And what we're going to try and do here is really make it pop. Uh, so the obvious things are the orange, the orange, the red, and the uh, well, the orange and the red, and perhaps the blue in the sky. So the first thing is to just have a go at the saturation and just take the red and just bring that up and make these poppies really pop, if you'll excuse the pun. The next thing is to just bring this orange, can you see that the difference being made there? Just bring the orange up in the sky and I'm just going to have a little play. This blue, just gonna see if I can just make that a bit of a deeper blue. There's not a huge amount I can do there. So we'll leave that for now. Sometimes if you just play with the aqua, see that, that's going mad and that looks ridiculous. So we'll just leave that as it is. Um, we'll have a quick play with the luminance and because this red has just popped a little bit too much and is in danger of if you look at this poppy here, okay, if we just keep the red on full and if we just bring that down, just gives a bit more definition in that poppy. And uh, I'm just gonna have a play, that must make no difference whatsoever. So we're gonna leave the sky as it is. Final thing um, is we're going to, I, I, on an image like this, I always like to put a, uh, a a vignette in or at least you like to try a vignette always um, sometimes I leave a vignette in sometimes I uh, I remove it so we're just gonna have a play here I don't like to vignette too heavily that's quite heavy oh there's a fly lovely it's quite heavy but if we feather it um, And then we get that. And that's not bad. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, for a fairly impromptu shoot, saw someone on Facebook mentioning a poppy field, um, popped out, excuse the pun again, had a, had a little play, and uh, this is what I came up with. Um, I may have a little play more, but essentially that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something, please subscribe. If you want to go and have a look at my website, it's richardwalkerphotography.co.uk. You'll see more photos on there, more information, and all the links to all my accounts, uh, the, my social media accounts, and so on. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe. Bye for now.